guys, Brass Bats here, and today I decided to share with you some ungoth confessions. So, without any further ado, let us begin. Number one. Being a theater major, a lot of my music on my mp3 player tends to come from musicals and soundtracks and things of the like. So Jane Eyre the musical and um, Chicago and uh, Newsies. And actually my favorite musical isn't even a dark one, so it's um, I love Sweeney Todd and Jekyll and Hyde and so on, but my favorite musical is actually Newsies. It's my dream show. So, there's that. So, listening through playlists of my music, you wouldn't expect to, or you'd be kind of surprised to suddenly hear Carrying the Banner set up right next to The Cure. Secondly, I am a big Weird Al fan. I love Weird Al. I have a lot of his CDs, but not all of them. I dressed up as Weird Al one day for um, a flashback day in Homecoming Week, way back yonder in the high school days. And of course, I still I watched the Weird Al show and the filmed concerts. And UHF is a very Hilarious movie. I'll just have you know. And that brings us to part three, connecting to that. Um, number three, a lot of my favorite movies are actually either silly comedies or musicals. That doesn't go with much explanation. I like to laugh. I like funny movies. I like movies that make me feel lighthearted, lighthearted and happy, and so on. Of course, um, in terms of silly comedies that are gothy, I do like Adam's Family and Beetlejuice, but in terms of other comedies, I just do like the silly, lighthearted, funny ones and the lighthearted musicals. Um, lately I've been on a little bit of a producer's kick, so that's been fun, getting those songs stuck in my head over and over and over again. Number four, but according to my list, it calls it number two. One, two, three, two, four. Um, number four, I really like the Beatles. This started way back, well, not way back, only about a year ago, in music appreciation class. The class was Beatles and Beyond. I didn't think I would become such a fan, and now I have all of their albums because... Um, because of my teacher, and I listen to them regularly, and I own just about all of the Beatles movies except for the documentary Let It Be, but that's gonna change very soon, hopefully, eventually, but the Beatles are a great passion of mine. Number four, or, oh, no, number four, Five, labeled as four on my list. Silly, silly, weird, list maker. What? Um, number five, I actually don't drink black coffee. I know it's a stereotype of goths, stereotype and a cliche for goths to drink coffee, and especially black coffee. Personally, I don't drink coffee whatsoever. I like tea, though, which goes, by, goes to another um, goth cliche, but I just don't... I don't... I like the taste of coffee. I eat coffee and desserts like coffee cake and tiramisu, but I just don't drink coffee. I'm not the coffee person, and especially not black coffee. But I do like a nice cup of Earl Grey or green tea or Darjeeling in the morning to get me motivated and hyped up and hyper and actually able to survive college classes. So, wouldn't you know it, my camera battery actually just died, so we are using Navigator Fitz's camera. Thanks, Navi. Mwah. Okay, so, on to number six. My go-to cartoon isn't usually, like, I love the, um, 
you know, spooky cartoons, growing up creepy, Beetlejuice, etc, etc. But my go-to cartoon is actually usually something more akin to the Powerpuff Girls, or Animaniacs, or, um, you know, Scooby-Doo, Milo Murphy's Law, Phineas and Ferb, are you getting my drift? You know, light, happy, light, happy cartoons, very silly, um, Looney Tunes, of course, that is one of my main inspirations of voice acting, because Mill blank. Ah. Yeah. So, you know, light, happy, fun cartoons. Well, I'm not saying that Beetlejuice and Growing Up Creepy aren't light, happy, and fun, but I mean, like, when I pick a cartoon to suddenly watch randomly, it's usually going to be one of those other ones. Um, and those are the ones I watch with my sister, and those are the ones I watch for a nice, happy, fun, good time. Hee hee hee. Especially Powerpuff Girls. Gotta love that nostalgia. Um, a little aside, by the way guys, I don't really watch the new Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girls. That's all I'm gonna say on that matter. That's all I'm gonna say. Keep that in mind. Number seven. If something cute and fuzzy shows up in the store, I will want to buy it. Especially if I go to a convention. So, you know, when you go to those conventions where you go to like a, a comic convention or something like that and you see something suddenly very kawaii, that would be my purchase. Something really fuzzy. It doesn't even matter if it's pink, even though I don't usually like pink. It doesn't even matter if it's pink, if it's cute and fuzzy, I will desire it and I will want to cuddle it. and. I will want to hug it and squeeze it and call it George. I guess that's why I have a growing collection of plush animals, even as we speak. They're, they're growing in the bedroom. We are gonna take over. Teeny boos and other stuffed animals abound. Save us, guys. Number eight. I actually lack fully goth friends. Um, I have one person who's getting into goth, and I have a few alternative friends, some emos and alternatives and scene kids and so on and so forth, and just people who like the more alt side of music and life and so on, classic rock fans, but I don't actually have any fully goth, gothy goth, goth friends, and I actually really wish I had someone to share the subculture with. All I have right now is my steampunk sister, and even then it gets a little lonely. I need a dark clad figure. Fit, fit, fit. I need a hero! Number nine, I don't go to goth clubs. Actually, I don't go to any clubs. I'm not about that life. Enough said. Okay, number whatever this is, I guess our captions will save us. Please save us, captions! Okay, so number whatever this is, um, I guarantee there will be ten of these. I just lost count because of my one, two, one, two, three, four, two, whatever numbering on my sheet here. And a couple changed around. So, number whatever, I don't watch a lot of horror movies. I watch, I do watch a couple of hammer horror films and a couple of the universal horror monster film things, like I do love a good Frankenstein franchise and good Dracula film and so on and so forth, but I don't watch a lot of horror films, especially if they're gory and violent, and definitely I do not watch paranormal films. There's some things I can't unsee, and I need sleep at night, so I don't watch terrifying horror films because I get easily scared. So that's a thing I do not do, that a lot of goths do. If I end up in there, I'll probably end up hiding under my blanket, just waiting for it to be over. Maybe I might have fallen asleep, but maybe probably not, because I can hear the screaming on the TV. Not saying I've ever done that, because I've never been in the room with someone watching it horror film, anyway, so, yeah. And the last one, 
I actually don't own a pair of winkle pickers or demonias or chucks or any of these goth brand shoes any of these brand shoes or um, shoes that a lot of goths like to have. I do have a pair of Victorian boots that I like so much, but alas, I do want a pair of Winkle Pickers, and I do want something from Demonia because I love their collection so much, and maybe someday I may get myself a pair, but for now, I've never gotten a pair of those, and I can't say it saddens me greatly, but it's, it's one of those simple things I would like to have. I know it's shoes, but I know the shoes, but they're nice shoes. I think I want to add one extra bonus because you guys have been so good and have stayed through all of this. I actually don't paint my nails very often. You can see right now they're not really painted. It's not that I don't like painting my nails, but because I'm doing so much scene shop work and so on and so forth that I really either don't have time or it chips off. So there. I know it's probably no excuse because I can make it last longer. But I'm a very busy girl, and also a very slightly lazy girl. So, thanks you guys for watching my goth confessions. I know it was rather rambly, and um, once again apologize for the sudden shift in camera type weirdness. So, thanks you guys, for, thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm actually trying to post a lot more frequently now. Once once a week if possible and um, hit the like button the thumbs up yep and like subscribe oh comment um, maybe comment to some of these confessions that you may relate to or tell me some of your extra special non goth confessions if you are a goth um, if you're not a goth then maybe some gothy things that you like yeah, that'll be a pretty interesting thing for me to see. And uh, maybe give me some suggestions for some videos that you would like to see. And be sure to follow me on social media. Mostly, just follow me on Twitter, at BrassyBats. The caption should be up there somewhere if I don't stick it up there. Well, either way, um, like, comment, subscribe, follow, and I will see you next time with another new fantabulous video. Bye!